Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel and another episode of Miniatures Mondays. Uh, I've got this model car Mustang here that I've been working on and I was playing with kind of a crazy paint scheme on it that did not turn out the way I wanted. I was going for a translucent look with this yellow and a white uh, to come through the orange and you can see here on the sides in the sunlight that all you get are tape lines. There is no translucency at all. I used way too opaque of a paint. So all this needs to come off, uh, and in order to do that, I need to strip the paint. Now, those of you who have been watching the channel for a long time or have come in for the model car videos have seen my uh, video on how to restore uh, an old model car where I took a uh, Plymouth Fury model in 1960 and completely restored it. And it was green, and we dumped it in uh, some Wesley's Bleach White. Uh, for quite a while and got all the paint off and went on to restore it and make it really beautiful. Well, I have since heard that there is something better than Wesley's Bleach White and that is isopropyl alcohol at 91%. This is supposed to take the paint off this plastic without hurting the plastic at all um, and do it way quicker uh, than the Wesley's Bleach White did. So that's what we're going to do. So I got my, my soaking bucket here I got my model car body, I got a big old thing of uh, nice purple alcohol, so we're going to dump it all in there and see what happens. Um, as a bonus, this stuff is a bit cheaper than um, uh, the bleach white is, so that's always a bonus. Yeah, that was cool. It's almost coming out the hood scoop there. So as I figured, I don't quite have enough to make this work, but what I'm going to do is set that thing up on an incline to cover the whole body. Um, and we'll let this soak for a while and see what happens. Now obviously you can see the concrete here. We are out in the garage. This is not something I would recommend doing inside the house, even though it's just alcohol, because you never know with this kind of stuff. And you know, you got pets the you know you've seen our cat around on the channel and stuff like that so do this out in the garage i'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours and uh, come back and check on it and let you know how it goes but that's what we're starting with and fast forward a day or two uh, yes this isn't really working very well but very well i mean hardly at all there's one little spot of paint there that tried coming off and that is it so I don't know if I'm using the right alcohol here, guys, or what, but I mean, you said 91% isopropyl, and that's what it is, and it did nothing, so. And fast forward by a day or so, and we've got some movement. Um, it's kind of weird. It's taking off the orange top coat, but not the yellow or the white underneath. Um, but scrubbing at it and it's kind of starting to come off and, and whatnot. But really this is, I don't need to get all the paint all the way off. I just got to get some of this buildup off and then I can um, sand it a bit and uh, reprime and repaint. Uh, but yeah, so far it does seem to be working. Um, not the fastest and I'm spilling a whole bunch so I need to go get some more. This bucket isn't really of the right size for this particular car so... Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep working on it. So far, so good, though. It, it does seem to be working, and it's definitely way less toxic than the uh, Wesley's Bleach White stuff is, so that's nice. I don't have to worry about it nearly as much, so I'm going to let that keep soaking. I'm going to go pick up another bottle of this to help fill that up, and uh, we'll check in again. All right, so the results of our experiment here with the uh, isopropyl alcohol is mixed. Here is a slot car front bumper. I dumped in there which was originally chrome plated and then had some paint done on top of it and it took the paint off but not the chrome which is kind of interesting because the Wesley's bleach white will absolutely strip the chrome uh, but considering I'm re-chroming this one anyway um, it's okay we can we can deal with that um, but just interesting that it doesn't do that so if you are trying to strip chrome off of plastic the alcohol is not going to do it as far as the paint goes look at this it stripped off all the orange but not the yellow and not the white and not even really the metallic orange just the other orange so it really depends on the kind of paint now that being said this gave me an idea to do some really cool model builds with like some rusty colors and some grays uh, and then put like um you know a, a crappy paint job on top of it and then dunk it in the uh 
alcohol and get this effect like that right there and make it look like super weathered, like do an old pickup truck or something, it would look pretty cool. Uh, one thing it did do is it did dissolve the uh, Tamiya plastic model cement on the rear spoiler, so that was interesting, um, but not on the hood scoop. So I'm not real sure what's going on here, but anyways, I've saved this thing enough to do what I need to do with it, uh, which is all fine and dandy. And then the other thing is this slot car I put in here, that's got uh, Duplicolor actual automotive paint on it. That's the, the actual color my real Javelin was. I had some leftover paint and painted a slot car with it. It hasn't even touched it. That thing's been sitting in there all weekend long, three days straight, and it's not even so much as bubbling. I don't think it's ever going to touch it. So, uh, kind of mixed. It has its uses, but it is definitely not uh, the same level or quality of paint stripper as the good old-fashioned Wesley's Bleach White. So, uh, this is good enough for now, and again, it gives me some ideas to do some cool weathering and stuff. Um, but it's not going to take off chrome, and it's not going to take off automotive grade paint. Uh, for that, you need the Bleach White. So... Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Miniatures Mondays and another experiment on uh, stripping paint from plastic.